Hello everyone, and welcome back to Away, the survival series, where we are rushing around the geodome that our young, tenacious, very hungry, mildly starving sugar glider has found. The remnants of what humans did try to make their way in the world after the cataclysmic shift. We're currently trying to wiggle up to the top to use the network as a great way to get a panoramic there view. He must catch up with the vulture. Where? Time oh, oh right there! Out. Right there! Vulture! Right here! What the heck? Okay. Go, little one! Fly! Fly! Come on, you can do it! All right, we need to go ahead and break for some food if we can, even though mom is right over there, I know. Do I hear howling? Why is there howling? Oh, oh no, a forest fire. Oh, that's very bad, I need those trees. Of lightning has struck one of the island's trees and started a fire. This blaze is sure to move quickly with the strong winds. Oh, that's really bad! Must be quicker still. There's wolves! Wolves. These perennial hunters are always on the lookout for fresh meat. Oh the man. The glider won't offer much of a meal. On an island where game is scarce, the wolves are unlikely to turn down even the lightest of snacks. Oh boy, okay. All right, not good. Need to fuel up on mushrooms. I'm really glad to see these mushrooms here. My precious forest, I needed that forest. I'm a little sugar glider, that's how I eat. All right, come on, come on. Eat these mushrooms, come on, hurry. Stop chewing on the end and like consume it. We desperately need all of this food. All right, I think it's eaten all of the mushroom that it can, which means we're gonna have to make a run for it, you guys. All right, where to next? I can't really tell. We just have to get past the wolves. Yep, get past the wolves. Like, that's gonna be so easy. All right, tree, 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 tree. Oh, oh yay, this tree has helpful markings on it. Thank you, bioluminescent fungi, for growing in a way like that leaves little trails. We're just gonna say this is very helpful mold. I have never been so grateful for mold in my whole life. All right, how am I gonna launch ourselves from here? Where am I supposed to go next? My fungi's missing. All right, tree, tree. No tree, okay, good. Yeah, on this island where everything needs all the food it can get, I could see how even a sugar glider would be a decent meal for wolves. Like in our Wolf Quest series, I'm always on a, the hunt for those lucky rabbit's foot. It may not be much food, but gosh darn it, it's our food as wolves. And if the pack was really struggling and needs food, I could see how they would just want to chomp down on our little sugar glider nests. All right, let's make a jump for this one. Up, 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 up. Come on, little one. Do wolves eat squirrels? Because sugar gliders are about the same size as a squirrel. They actually are about like a, basically nine inches to a foot in size. And that is actually the same size as the North American gray squirrel that I'm pretty sure the vast majority of you are familiar with. So if you're trying to figure out what it's like to have a sugar glider running around, just imagine having kind of a much more nimble marsupial-esque squirrel dashing about the place. All right, let's wiggle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm sure this will be fine. Okay, I think this is a bad wiggle spot. Even though there's a forest fire, we can't panic too much. Oh boy. All right, should I make it to that next tree and go around? I think I should, because that's where the trees seem to be. So we're actually gonna change tactics. And we're gonna try to get around this desperate situation like so all right good next tree all right there's a tree over there uh-oh i think i'm supposed to make it to that tree jump oh yes look okay go little one go oh i'm so glad we're small and nimble really in a post-apocalyptic setting like this when it's like the end of the world I'm really learning how valuable it is to be able to just go ahead and be nimble and quick. It gives you, can I climb that thing? Cannot climb, cannot climb. Must get to tree. Up, 
tree, up tree! Tree, tree! Save me, tree! Oh, I, see, trees always save you. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. Picked up the glider scent and are congregating beneath the trees. Lost footing or a single miscalculated glide could land our Joey inside a pair of snapping jaws. And wolves aren't the only problem. What do you mean they aren't the, the only problem? It's progressing quickly. I would prefer if that's not the case. I would prefer very much if that's not the case. A miscalculated glide could spell our doom, you say? As the wolves circle and the fire spread, the glider clings to the tree for dear life. Yes, yes, and trees. The fire leaps from tree to tree. Our no. glider is running out of options. Am I? Oh, the helpful bioluminescent fungi of life! I have never been so grateful to see glowing mushrooms in my whole life. I swear I'm gonna give these play things a place of honor in our zoo crafting series. All right, where am I supposed to go now? Instincts guide me. This way? We do have bioluminescent fungi in our zoo crafting series, actually. Thanks to the Better Caves mod. All right, let's see. I'm supposed to go to that one now? Oh, I hope I can make it. Mm. Whew, okay. All right, all right, all right. Wolves in a forest fire. Okay. Okay, that's supposed to be the next spot. There's two wolves. They're definitely pacing. Let's get higher up in the tree. Oh, there's three wolves. Up the tree, up the tree, little one. Up, 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 up. The higher up we go, the better my glide shot at being able to hopefully make it to the next spot. But it also, the more I get tangled in the branches. Oh boy. Oh boy, that didn't give me as much lift as I was hoping for. Go! I don't want to see if they're desperate enough to try to climb this. The fire has driven a herd of deer out into the open. An opportunity for the glider to hitch a ride. What? Okay. I guess. Ah! What the heck? I'm clinging on for dear life! Dear life! Like, I guess dear life, but now is a really bad time for puns in my opinion. Oh man. Hang in there, little guy. Where'd the deer go? Did it get taken out by a crocodile? Oh man. I hear seagulls in the distance now. Are these guys just running past like a bunch of crocodiles? I don't really know what's going on. Why'd that deer disappear too? Oh, you guys. This is so dramatic! <laughs> oh, hang in there, little one. I don't know where your deer are disappearing to. This is not good for the population. Also, why are they all bucks? <gasps> they are getting taken out by crocodiles! Are you kidding me? What part of Australia has gone horrifically wrong? <gasps> oh, boy. I don't think there's going to be a... Oh, my gosh! I don't think there's going to be much of a deer population this left after has that. He improved his acrobatic skills since he left his nest. This once student at his mother's side is becoming a master. Oh my <gasps> gosh, it's the vulture, you guys. I think the vulture is distracted with everything that's going on too. He took off. Oh no, you don't. Come on. I guess this would distract the vulture from eating mom, at least. Down here? Down there? Mm, tree! Oh, my heart's pounding so hard. Come on, little one. I know, I know, it's tricky, it's difficult. Can you aim? All right, aim down there. Okay, you made it, good job. All right, let's go up. Oh my gosh, the forest fire is raging. I saw mom. 
Mom's being like whisked away. Baby sister is there. I haven't seen any other sugar gliders. I don't want to be all by myself. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. All right, we'll wiggle down over here. And there's a million seagulls screaming in the distance. That only like solidifies my thoughts that this is some part of Australia that has really started to go wonky with its evolutionary shifts. Okay, good job, little glider. Okay, I think we're almost through here. Just really difficult to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle down the trees. Come on. All right, where to now? There. All right. No time to stop for sap. Oh, it's going to be so sad to lose all of these trees. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, where, where to? Up. And then down. All right, hang in there. Come on, little one. All right, we, we're wiggling, we're wiggling. Good job, little one. Okay, this one's going to be a bit of a big jump. Tree! Okay, here. Snack on the go. Do you need anything? Okay, good. No, he's doing good on food. All right. I think we're kind of escaping the fire. It makes sense now how swamp trees would really be bene benefiting from all of this. What's this? Emergency evacuation route for sugar gliders too, apparently. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Do I have to swim? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, let's try maybe making a jump. Let's climb up. The answer is always up, usually. Um, oh, there, there, there. I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't try to make that jump. It would have been impossible, and I would have very sadly died. Come on. Come on. No, little guy. Oh, you did it. Good job. Oh, I thought we were going to lose him just then, friends. Okay, let's... We're really learning, like, eat and run. And now... <gasps> Another snake? Is that a black mamba? What? A black mamba. What? One of the most dangerous snakes in the world. How did an app... You know what? Highly venomous and love to dine on small mammals like the glider. Our Jerry will need all his skills to survive this menace. Okay. Okay. Attack, 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 Okay, we did really good attacking it. We need to attack it some more. Oh, the Joey is becoming an expert in this wrestling with mamas. Like, little one. You're getting so good. I'm so proud of him. Oh, we're attacking with everything we've got. It wasn't enough, but we're really getting there. Come on, little guy. You know, I was thinking, what is with the king snake and the coral snake and the black mamba, which all usually come from very different areas, all being here together? But if we think about it, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that enough to get him down? Yes! The glider outmaneuvered the snake with a grace beyond his ears. Yes! We did it! But it makes sense that the snake would be there if we're following along with the idea that humans had like an experimental lab here and they were trying to figure out with some animal like specimens how to be able to maybe carry on at the end of the world. Whoo! Okay, come on, little guy. Come on. All right, jump up. Okay, I think we're almost out of here. Can we make it to this tree? Okay. Tree, 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 tree. All right, then we want to go down? No, I think the tree was guiding us. There! Oh, fungi. Can you imagine if you were lost, like, in the world, how amazing it would be if some very helpful, beautiful, luminescent fungi just, like, led the way to where you should go? That would be kind of fantastic. All right. I don't think we've found it just yet. No, there we go. Okay, we have to go down. Okay, come on. You can do it, little friend. All right, get me out of here. Over there? Okay, gonna have to make a wild jump for it. 
Uh oh. That jump was a little more wild than I meant. Oh, we're okay. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right, you guys. Apparently, we're still in the forest fire. And I'm really not sure what's going to happen to our little friend from here. But we're doing it. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our little, like, black mamba fighting adorable sugar glider who I have gotten so freaking attached to. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, don't start forest fires. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.